Well, we're in Times Square, guys. I'm on 48th and 8th. It has been a long, long time. I just came from the lingerie shop where it says DVDs here. <laughs> they had everything I need. Wigs, toys, lingerie, all kinds of stuff. Wow. Who taught you to love? Wow, who taught you to love, man? I haven't been around here in a long time. I used to work on this street, 48th Street. You guys want to see where I used to work at? (laughs) It's not there anymore, but you're going to see the block I used to work. So I used to work at a strip club on 48th Street called, uh, you know, I can't remember the name of it. Let me see. I can't remember the name of it, but anyway, it used to be on this street, and I've seen famous people on this street. This is 48th between 8th and 7th. I made a lot of money on this street, man. I used to work in the theater, and then I'd go across the street to the bar and relax and have a drink and eat, and then our customers would come in there, but I never used to pick them up. You know, I had regulars, but um, yeah, this was my block, 48th Street, when I was a young lady. Just doing my thing, man. Getting it. <sighs> I'm so glad I started an OnlyFans page because I was bored. Now I'm not bored anymore. And I'm making money. It's a nice con and I have a creative mind, so I have an outlet for my content. And I have a referral code if anybody wants to be a content creator and OnlyFans. If you're a musician. A, a coach, a teacher, an artist, a goddess. I have the free referral code. Oh, how nice. This is really nice. What's this, Hurley's? Okay, so we used to go to a couple of restaurants over here. And I think this used to be the club I used to go to. No, not this one. This one used to be the bar that we used to go to. And now it's something else. Oh, my God. I don't know if it was called Hurley's. History of Hurley's. Let me see. They've been here since 1918. This might have been the the club. Let me see. I think this is it. It looks like it. This used to be our bar. I think this is the one I got banned out of. (laughs) I think I got banned from this bar. Oh my God. Wow. You know, I heard they're gonna start opening the theaters up around April 12th. I don't know if it's gonna be off Broadway or Broadway. Yeah, that's where we used to go drink at. But there were two bars on the street, one closer to the theater and then one down so. Tony Awards, the Crown Plaza. Okay, so you're not going to believe this. Where's, where Crown Plaza is, <laughs> is where our strip club used to be. And they tore it all down and made a big-ass building. Wow. Wow. We had all that, man. It was a big place I worked at. We had 80 girls working with us. 80 strippers. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. They changed everything. Mm. Totally amazing. I'm so, oh my God. Get a case for your phone before you, sorry, bro. Oh, okay. But you get a life proof case, we'll protect it though. Um, wow. Mm, mm, mm. What a gorgeous spring day. I love my life, I'm telling you. So I just found a store that's going to take care of all my needs. Other than, and you know what? Sex toys have gone up. Oh, we're going to walk up to uh, Central Park. Beautiful. 
This is Times Square, y'all. Remember how empty it was when I got here in the summer last year? There was nobody walking around. Now, New York is coming back alive little by little. Little by little. Wow. And it's hot, man. Oh, Zianna, I'm doing better than good, man. Better than good. I want to thank my daughter, Nina, for cash apping me some money so I could get out the house and do some filming. Because, you know, sitting in that room all day makes me crazy. Well, that's why I'm doing this. My cash app is Queen Raw TV. Q U E E N R A T V. Send me a little cheddar. And I can do more streams like this for you. It cost me six dollars round trip on the train. You know, something to eat. I gotta get up. I have my battery with me and all that. You know, it's a lot. Man. Oh, I got my place. I got here. I'm renting. I'm doing great. My voucher covers most of my rent. Actually, I'm gonna call my case today and tell him. I want him to help me get into a senior building before it's an emergency. <laughs> I want to get into a nice little studio and really stretch out. I'm ready to, uh, you know, I'm recovering from being homeless, man. What is this, art? Really? This just brings back good memories, man. I used to make phew, about $1,000 a day. I could go shopping when I wanted to, eat when I wanted to, and of course I developed a nice little cocaine habit back in the day, but, <laughs> but uh, I got sober on February 23rd, 1988. I will be putting this stream up on YouTube later so that we'll always have it because this is a piece of history. Today is March 22nd, 2021. We're in New York City. It's the second day of spring and spring has sprung. We are ready to put our winter coats back up into storage. I don't think we'll need them anymore. Bring out the raincoats, the jackets, the hoodies, I got a lot of sweatshirts and I got them all on sale. <laughs> so, I'm in New York. <laughs> Woo! Uh-oh, I lost my earplug. Oh, shit. I lost it. God damn it. I lost it. Wow. Did I really lose it? Damn it, I lost my earplug. Wow. That's another $230. Oh, I think they'll replace them for 150 though, but damn. Fell right out of my ear. Wow, man. Yep. Fell right out of my ear. I lost one, now I lost the other one. Can you hear me okay? Can you guys hear me all right? It's all these masks and stuff. That's why I lost it. 
Oh well. Oh well. It is what it is. Josh, I just lost my other <laughs> earbud. And I was just going to make an appointment with Apple to replace the other one. So now I'm just going to have to buy a new new set. It's all right. It's all right. No problem. Um, I thought so, but it's not in my jacket. Mm -mm. No, it's not in my jacket. Look, the first one I lost, I went to go get my earbuds, opened my purse, and the thing popped out and fell in the street, and I couldn't find it. Now, the good news is that Apple will replace it at a discount. So if I just want to get a new set and replace them, they'll replace them. So they cost me like $250. I think they replace them for like $150 mm -hmm. if you lose them. But... I don't know. Nah, it's always something. <laughs> I know one thing, the price of dildos went up. I remember a dildo used to cost about 20 bucks. You know dildos are like $100 now? $100 for a dildo? <laughs> wow, huh? Mm. walking up to Times Square if you're enjoying this stream you can hit the tip jar and cash app at Q U E E N R A TV I would really appreciate it so I can keep coming out and doing this because spring is here now I can just come out every day now This is a nice hotel, the Sheraton. Yeah, man. Hey, Loretta, how are you? We're walking up from Times Square to Central Park on 7th Avenue. Feels good to be out of the house. Well, there'll be no leaves in Central Park, but plenty of trees. They'll just be naked. Man, I'm still waiting on my stimulus. This is ridiculous. And I know what's going to happen. They're probably going to send it to us right before we get our checks. So ridiculous. Now they're saying Wednesday, check for it, for Social Security. How many people in the room got their stimulus already? Say I. Yep. 
This is New York City. I love this city. I love the energy. Now, when I got here last June, July, August, September, I would walk through here and it would be empty. Nobody. And so the city is slowly coming alive. Slowly. We're almost there. Two more blocks will be at the park. Oh, wow. Hey, gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. You're so, oh. You can't, oh, oh. He said, no selfies. I don't want to be filmed. I don't want to be filmed. Is it a girl or a boy? Oh, he's a little feisty. What's his name? Oh, hey, Jackson. You got quite a personality. Yep. Happy spring day to you, Jackson, and your daddy. <laughs> wow yeah everything's open the shops are open the restaurants are open the theaters are not open and the theaters are the lifeblood of Times Square so and I miss the theater man when it opens I'm gonna go see every every play I don't care if I want to see it or not I'm gonna buy a ticket and go look at it the things that we took for granted in New York man New York thrives around the theater. Officer, do you know when they're going to open up the theaters on Broadway again? Is it June? You haven't heard anything, huh? Okay. Yeah, it's just, man. I mean, that's why we have all these hotels around here. People come in to see the theater. See what I mean? No, I know Europe is closed. Hmm. This is so nice, man. It's a beautiful day. All kinds of peppers in there. Look at that. <laughs> All kinds of hot sauce. Oh my God, that's crazy. So if you're a hot sauce, you know, person and you're looking for a certain one, let me know. I can probably get it for you. Yeah. Soup, salad, and uh, uh, that's it. Ten dollars. <laughs> Soup and salad. We're right near Carnegie Hall. Oh, this is Carnegie Hall right here. Wow. I saw Patti LaBelle here. Can you believe that? That I saw Patti LaBelle. They do uh, Facebook Lives now on Facebook Watch Carnegie Hall. You guys in Europe are like, on luck. You can't even leave the country. At least I can leave. <laughs> so far. My friend lives in Ireland. He can't go no more than three miles from his house. I'm like, are you kidding me? Did you see what happened in Miami? Thousands of people broke the 8 o'clock curfew at the beach. Thousands of them. They were like, fuck that. We're not going home. We're out here. I mean thousands. They were they were spewing smoke bombs in the crowd and everything. Well, I don't go out after nine o'clock anyway unless I'm going to a concert. But we don't have any concerts, so um, I don't like to go out at night because that's when the demons are running around. I don't go out in Jamaica at night unless, you know, it's a bunch of us. What a cute dress. Oh, yeah, Amy Schumer's having a baby. <laughs> oh, see, it's funny. I hate Mondays. <laughs> uh. mm. 
We're here at the park, guys. Protrosion Boutique and Cafe. Are they open? Nope. So a lot of places are still closed and went out of business, but we're hanging in there. Loretta Ridgeway. We're here at Central Park. I'm trying to walk and get this weight off. If you protest or gather outside, the police beat you and unleash dogs after people. Damn. <laughs> So ridiculous. So you can't even fly out nowhere. Damn. That's why I'm flying everywhere I can before they lock shit up. By the time they lock shit up, I'll be down in on the land in Texas. I really want to save up for a truck. I really do. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I love this place. There is no place like New York. Do you see how magical it is? Hmm. I don't remember the address. It's number Columbus Circle. Awesome. That, that shit would never work in New York because New Yorkers would fucking go to fuck off. They could never, like, contain us like that. New Yorkers are, they, no. <laughs> there'd, be a, there'd be war in New York City if they did that here. Last time you got a hug, Christine. There was a guy in the park yesterday giving out free hugs. I definitely got one. Oh, look at this dog. So cute. It's a baby. Mmm. Nice. Central Park has been a place of refuge when we need space, nature, and exercise. So when's the last time you got a hug, uh, Christine? Oh no, this is not good, mommy. There's no one to hug you. I send you a big, humongous cyber hug. You know what, Christine? Send me your mailing address. I'm going to mail you something, okay? DM me your mailing address. You hug yourself. I know. Hug me, hug me. Remember that song, Hug Me, Hug Me? <laughs> that came out before Corona, huh? Wow. My Central Park. Okay, I'll hashtag it. My Central Park. Now, this is Central Park West. I mean, South. You see all these buildings? Millionaires live here. Millionaires, 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 millionaires. This is the rich part of New York. Well, another, well this, all of Manhattan's for the rich people, but these buildings here ain't nothing subsidized, nothing like that, nothing. <laughs> I don't think I've been here since the leaves left. People are afraid to hug each other. Shit. Oh, look at the chairs up there. Oh my God. 
How nice. Oh, I love it. Look at this, guys. You can walk up there and sit in a chair. She's meditating? Yeah, I don't want to bother her. There's a chair. You can sit right there in the sun. Beautiful. Mm. So this is the biggest park in New York other than we have Prospect Park, we have this one, and we have one up uh, northern Manhattan. The Cloisters. One day I'll have to take you to the Cloisters when the you know, when the flowers come back. People are really enjoying the weather, man. I like to see this. <laughs> mm. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, the one and only Central Park, you know it. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. That's why I brought you here. Bring the nature to you if you can't get out. Oh, no, no money today. I would love, one day I will come, though, and get in your carriage. <laughs> For 40 to $60, I can get a ride around the park. I'm going to tell them I'm going to smoke weed, too, so don't say shit. <laughs> Wow, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so I'm going to try my best to... Yes, yeah, so that's why I asked you guys to cash at me so I can do more trips like this. Because this is a lot for me to hold this camera and, you know, it's expensive to come out. You know, it's just, it just costs money, man. And there's a lot of places I want to show you in New York. For real, Christine, right? This quarantine has taught us all kinds of things about ourselves. Oh, Christine, I have a big interview coming up. It's going to be dropped on YouTube with a, a channel that has 2 million followers. Hmm. Man, oh man, oh man. Let me get on the earth. Oh, flowers. There's flowers here. Oh, wow. Let me take a picture. Bam. The first flowers. Mm. Gotta put my feet in the earth. Ah, oh, man. Oh, me and my friends used to come to park and get on one of these rocks and roll up <laughs> and be silly. You know how young people are just silly. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yep. Beautiful. So Christine Astrid, DM me your mailing address. All right. You know I love you like my sister girl. Oh yeah, this is my favorite season. I'll be coming here every week to show you the progression of spring in the park. Hmm. 
Well, I think I'll do a little meditation. I'll see you later. This will be uploaded to YouTube. I love you. Ha <laughs> ha.